Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Colony Ship. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as we get done with the combat from last episode because that was a little bit tricky, but it uh, all it needed was a little bit more insistence and me trying to attack from the south again, like what you're seeing over here. I say south, but it's, you know, down here. And I'm gonna throw a gas grenade in here because it's looking lovely for that. They don't seem too bothered by that, unfortunately. Can't say I like that, honestly. <laughs> Let's go with the regular shot here, see if we can pull it off. Although, this might be a better strategy. Regular shot, 45. Let's give it... Okay, that's a graze. Not good enough. Definitely not good enough. Let's go with the regular shot. I think a couple of bursts should take care of things. And then I got you. That's a 12. Yeah, this is going well. Really nice crit in there. I'm gonna move over here and hopefully I'm not gonna get too shot up because things are not looking great. This guy, I don't know if they're gonna take poison damage. This guy specifically said, yeah, there's some poison damage being taken, but it, oof, that's nasty. It's real nasty. Yep, you need to turn your shield on and aim for center mass over here. Let's see how that one works. That's a nice kill. Let's bring you up. Nice graze. Yeah. So you're poisoned. Oh, that's not a block over there. That's fantastic. Okay. Oh, you didn't need to do that. You definitely did not need to do any of that. Lovely shot there. And a regular shot. Oh, you have no ammunition. I forgot about that. Okay. So you do take poison. The poison just starts a little bit later than you, what you would expect. I'm fine with that. It's only six points of damage. But it is points of damage, and that matters a lot. I also love that the action points, when you move, don't basically... They, they don't... Ooh, is that range? Yeah, it is range. It doesn't matter that you move one at a time, basically. You don't save action points by moving a bunch of times, uh, a bunch of places in a row. Let's see what I can do here with a burst. Yeah, that's, that's fair enough. It's not great. You're also taking poison. Hello! Yeah, that's bad. That's real bad. So center mass, I got five rounds over here. I can do a center mass there. And miss. That's a kill. Now, I think we won. I think that's that's a victory right there. And there it is with the critical. It ain't over yet. Says that. And that's it. And the turn. Everybody's healed. I don't understand that. <laughs> I still haven't looked up. I and mean, I still haven't gotten any gotten any comments either explaining what that is. But that went that went really nicely. That, that went really nicely. So, ooh, we have a gear mace. It's lower accuracy, higher knockdown. We have reinforced ballistic vest, a worker jacket, raider boots. I don't think those are better than our current boots. I don't fully know. Shield arm guards. Uh, let's look at that, actually. So, in terms of the arm guards, what I'm... Yeah, the scav arm guards are the best. As far as I know. And we do have Raider Boots. So unless they're better than yours... Uh, it's not too bad. It really isn't too bad. But then again, boots seem to be easy to use. So that's nice. And then armor isn't. Okay. What else? That's the melee guy over there. With a huge honk of a weapon as well. I'm just now realizing. Uh, and then we have these things. We have protective vest. We have traveler coat. And... Yeah. Oh, oh utility bar. It's It's things. It's things. Nothing that we haven't seen already, but it all is going to make up for selling things. And we're going to sell it all. We also have another Battle Bowler Helmet. 
and we have shield arm guards and more melee weapons and ammo pretty important ammo is pretty important we've got another rifle it is just a normal howler and a scrapper coat over there is a scrapper coat better is that what you're wearing yes it is yes it is and as for our helmet this thing is just not good enough well it isn't that it isn't good enough it's just it's just that I like having my eye faces things these things so I can see the power level of the enemies that's definitely what they're for and that's that raider dead and then this raider back here with one of that and a lot of 45 ammo that's really important raider arm guard I believe that is the better one let's see specifically for faith you don't need these right yeah so oh no we have raider arm guard that's yeah that isn't the best I mean that is a good one it's just not the best one so these guys were here because they had treasure I assume I mean if I had treasure I'd be here and vice versa if I were here I'd have treasure what is this electronics yes please be careful you fixed the control panel good as new now thank you very much how does the order doesn't always stay and it's a little bit confusing and this wait I could have gone in through there no I couldn't where did I come from from here yeah I could have gone in through here as it turns out okay so what do we have over here we have scavenger goggles thermal vision 45 resistance optical 45 as well reaction 5% yeah that's what I'm talking about and honestly is it Evans that I want to have uh, that I want to have this aimed 5% accuracy 3% or is it Titus? No, Titus already has it. Okay. Uh, well, it might be Jed then. But Jed can't have that. Because Jed has that helmet that is weird. Oh, it's not even the helmet. It's the gas thing. Okay. Well, we're going to need to change things a little then. Because what is that? That is just defense. I mean, that's really nice to have. But... You can't wear that, can you? You can't have have this wait how did I how did I do that hmm what have I done so that's the correct one and I want Jed no is is that the correct one no I think oh right it's the helmet and the gas mask it's just that her I could probably get around... I do need extra melee defense, I suppose, because she goes right up against them. But the gas mask is the thing that's blocking. Well, I have other other gas masks that have that. So these things are pretty decent. Yeah, that's probably better. The thing is... I am a little bit confused about who has what. Oh, right! This is how... Yep. Right, so if you double disable one of the equipment slots, that's how I had it. Now, what I want is... Yeah, I want you to have this. And you are not going to have that gas mask. You're going to have this, you're going to have this, and you're going to have this helmet. And that way, it's a little bit better. In term Can we see the, the damage reduction over here? Yes, we can. So for toxic, it's three, six, three and four interestingly enough okay yeah so I think I think I understand that it's a nice it's an interesting way of gaming the system effectively because obviously you're taking advantage of the the fact that they both disable the same slot but I like that it makes sense on in a way but also at the same time it feels like I'm cheating so I like that double time because it makes sense and because it feels like I'm cheating I like that so moving on there are places back there there's a space heater or something that these guys were huddling around I don't think the oh yeah this this goes places oh this is the there's a there's like a a wallpaper of this game that's specifically this thing we can strip that for parts let's go ahead and do that you gain 20 learning points and electronics but didn't actually get it get the parts maybe I did what about that one? 
Use the control panel. Yeah, it's definitely not going to have anything terrible. As you step within range of the autocannons, the access card vibrates slightly and its indicator light glows green. It's more than a simple access card, then, if it can receive and transmit signals. So far, so good. A melodious, if tinny, female voice emerges from everywhere and nowhere. Authorized access device detected. Please approach and insert your authorized access device for further scanning. I'm going to approach. Cautiously, you approach the door and insert the card into the reader. There's a faint hiss as the card is locked in place, and its indicator light, still jutting out from the slot, now shines blue. Welcome back, Technical Officer Ulysses S. Colton. It has been 117 years since your last visit. The blue light flickers ominously, and a wholly synthetic voice adds, Data anomaly detected, please wait. Uh... I'm gonna run for it. You manage to turn around and take exactly five steps before the simple-minded AI decides that technical officer Ulysses S. Colton's erratic behavior warrants a prejudicial response. You never get to see the majestic sight of plasma cannon gun ports glowing bright as they discharge, and you barely even feel a thing as they obliterate your fleeing body. Rest in peace is the option that I choose. Oh, right. A hundred years of neglect have turned the ship's ruined decks and structures into death traps waiting for the unwary. One wrong step is all it takes to find a fool's end, and that's the step you just took. It is. It is a little. But also... I, uh... screwed up, because I did this when I... I did it, but... Okay, let's do it again. Here we go. So we're gonna wait. You wait. Please wait, the security OS warns again, but this time in the woman's dis disembodied voice. A good sign? And then, we apologize for the delay, technical officer Ulysses S. Colton. You are authorized to proceed. The blue light stops flickering, the slot hisses, and the card gently slides back out as the great door slowly opens. Treasure? Uh, I think some, tr some amount of treasure is here for us. Oh no, definitely some amount of treasure is here for us. What the hell are we looking at? No enemies? I don't even know what the cannons were. Are these the cannons? I don't know what shot me. Okay, it doesn't matter. We have a control panel over here. Another security terminal gets in the way of looting and pillaging. We're gonna swipe the card. The terminal mulls it over, sending access requests to long dead servers and then displays its verdict. Access denied, insufficient clearance. It looks like you'll need a better card to get to level three. Well, there's a lock pick over here. And I picked the lock to my enormous surprise. And we have uh, a biotech. No, 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 I wanna see who that is. Let's go, let's go. Extract implant. Lovely. So, uh, you skillfully remove the exospine implant from the corpse. Lovely. So, can I use it? Designed for manual labor in extreme conditions, this exospine can handle workloads far exceeding the limit of your body. The external spine can only be mounted on titanium shoulder blades, which needs to be implanted first, and then jacked into your spinal cord, so no buyer remorse. With this toy, it adds one to strength which I kind of don't want. That said, maybe Faith does. Let's see what we can do. Let's examine this crate. An override module? This will come in handy. Wait. There it is. This module can override restrictions and unlock additional functionality. Lovely. Is that what we came here to do, I think? The override module. I believe so. An odd-looking terminal. Oh, I thought it was a medical device, but it isn't. It's screen dark and keyboard locked. Fortunately, the card reader slot is glowing slowly and invitingly. I'm gonna swipe the access card. I will ask Faith to handle it, most likely. The screen lights up, but not to welcome you with open arms, but to inform you that access is denied and graciously allow you to submit a training authorization request. How interesting. Let's ask Faith to handle it. Without the access card, it would have been impossible, but now that you're in, it doesn't take Faith long to convince the system that Technical Officer Ulysses Colton requires extra training to become a more productive member of society. Select the desired designation. We have Urban Pacification, Riot Control, Infiltration, Crisis Intervention. 
Uh, how? What the hell is any of these? Let's go with crisis intervention. You'll be given basic training on the safe management of disruptive and assaultive behavior, persuasion streetwise, and impersonate. Let's go back. So, uh, you'll be given basic rifle training as well as knife combat and evasion. That's interesting. Riot control. You'll be given basic training with ba baton. Ba I don't know how to pronounce that word. And other blunt weapons as well as armor and rapid disabling and critical strike of lawbreakers. No. Infiltration is uh, for subterfuge, which is impersonate and lockpicking. No, I don't need that. Let's go with crisis intervention right now. It's just basic training, so I don't know what we get. Training token drops in the receptacle and the terminal powers down. Oh, we just get the training token. Does that mean the training tokens are different? Yep. A pre-mutiny token authorizing crisis intervention training. Basic training for new maintenance worker. The basic training there kind of scares me. But I think, yeah, though it's that, Jim. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, that is definitely... That is definitely something for us to use back home. Let's see what this elevator control panel does. Nope, still the same. Very unfortunate. And of course, we're going to mess with that. But not before we mess with everything else, because that looks very ominous. So, open that lock. See what is inside. That's really nice. A couple of stasis grenades and a pulse grenade. Very, very lovely. Actually, I should read the description of the pulse grenade. Upon det detonation, this grenade emits an electromagnetic pulse that damages all unshielded electronics. Oh, yeah. Didn't we see that uh, on sale? I thought we saw that. And then we have... Nobody in there, so it should be fine. It doesn't mean that we won't get ambushed. It just means that... Oh, failed to pick that lock. Mm. It just means that... Um, uh, at least on at, at first, there are no enemies around. We have ourselves an energy rifle. Back on Earth, it was billed as an affordable precision rifle for civilian use, which is a fancy way of saying cheap, long-range gun with subpar stats. Here, in the land of crude firearms, even a sub-bar energy gun is king. And it is. 21 to 24 damage is incredible. Action point cost of 7 is kind of not. Effective range of 13 is in unbelievable. And it's just a rifle. That is... Wow. How many rounds do I have for that? I've been collecting some cells. I only have 20. And it takes 8, I think. I don't even know where the rifle is anymore. Oh, it's over there. It takes 10. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I, my, my team is uh, set up in the best way possible. But it is set up in a way possible. So there it is. Tactical vest over here. Centuries old reactive armor using lost tech from Earth. The viscoelastic material hardens on impact to disperse kinetic energy. That's pretty good. Let's loot that. And uh, that is, unfortunately, not for me to use. Whoa, she really likes... Oh, no, it's Jed. Jed really likes this. So Jed is going to have this. Uh, and uh, Jed had assault armor. Yeah. Does everybody else have assault armor? Not Faith. No, not Faith. Is yours... You have scav armor. Yeah. Oh, but this is sneak penalty. Yeah, assault armor is better than scarf armor, which means we're going to do that because we don't care about sneak. That's basically it. Also, I'm maxed out on implants. I think the implant limit is always related to constitution. Somebody told me in the comments that uh, there's a 99% chance of rejection uh, because I am already at my implant limit. I think I'm okay with the implants. I like I like being able to collect them, but ultimately it's fine. It's only the early uh, access access version of the game, so we're we're good. So, oh no, that's not how we loot. This is how we loot. And we got ourselves a pulse capacitor Mark II. This pulse capacitor recharges the shield from the power cell via short bursts. Um Can I upgrade that? Uh, well, let's find out. Uh, save the game there. No, not from here. From here. 
Oh! I had a pulse capacitor Mark 1 already. I think? Yeah, emitter Mark 1. Power cell Mark... Yeah, that's what these are for? An old rechargeable battery, notwithstanding the grime and rust. It's the gadget battery, so it just better... It lasts better. Fair enough. So they come with... Oh, I see, I see. Okay. It's pretty straightforward, actually. Uh, oh, it, yeah, and you can see. The health changes. This is the recharge rate. I didn't even know it had recharge rate. I need more shields, though, but... I, di I didn't realize that it had recharge rate. So basically, we already have these. It's because... I suppose I could sell these. Anytime we get a shield, we they come with this, this stuff, so it doesn't matter. Unless they come without them, which I don't think is possible. But that's a little bit more understandable. It's just a choice. And, it, well, it's effectively a flat upgrade, but still, it's a choice. And then over here, yeah. So it's just that lockpick over there that cannot be open. Because you don't have enough skill for that. Where is your lockpick? It's almost there. Another lockpicked, and uh, you might be able to open it. Let's find out. Because there's this thing. Oh, computers. Let's do it to lower the force field. It's too complicated. Oh. I might as well give it a try myself, right? Well, I guess we're not getting in there. Who knows what matter of amazing, amazing treasure is in there. Let's go to the control panel here. A specialized computer terminal with touch screen and card reader. The screen doesn't respond to anything. Let's examine the machine first. The strange machine, like a shiny metal tower for gnomes, flanked by four round engines, hovers in a large pit. It looks like a portable reactor of some kind, but much more sophisticated. The only thing you know for certain is that anything mothballed in a stasis field for centuries and layered with security measures must be worth a lot of money, if you can find the right buyer. Let's use the access card. You swipe the access card and an authentication protocol jumps up on the screen. Ulysses Culton comes through again. He's the best damn partner a person could ask for. Quiet, reliable, and he never gripes about his share. A stylized diagram of the mysterious machine appears with individual sections called out in different colors. The big, bold title at the top provides the first useful f bit of information. M-Class Converter, Model FC4, whatever that is. The terminal displays two options, run diagnostics or activate elevator. Oh, it's an elevator. Okay, run the diagnostics. Then the stasis field blinks out of existence and the machine begins slowly to awaken. Telltales flicker here and there and the hull hums. Thick columns of data scroll past right to left. Too fast to read even if you could understand it. Half a minute later, the important part, all systems functioning within normal parameters. That's good news. Whatever it is, mint condition means a premium price. You touch the screen once to see if there's any further information, and then comes the hitch. The spec diagram reappears, but with three yellow flags. If you're reading it correctly, the device needs reactor-grade fuel, some kind of generator, an optional module required for this model, and a pre-configured molecular synthesizer. If you don't feel like jumping through those hoops, maybe you can sell it for a Christmas tree. It does glow real nice in the dark. I don't know if the generator is not related to the elevator. Let's activate it. The terminal demands a 12-digit passcode to confirm the order. Must be your lucky day. No, it isn't my lucky day. Because I don't have the 12-digit passcode. What are you talking about? It must be my lucky day. Oh, maybe because I didn't die. You know, it's better not to die. Then, or... You know what I mean, it's better, it's better not to be shot and get a passcode required than... The, oh, failed to pick the lock, come on! Oh, I thought that was going to get me into both places, but it didn't. Well, there's places in here that we need to activate. And uh, there's places downstairs that we need to activate, maybe with uh, locks to be picked. Of course, our way back might not be as peaceful as our way up here. <laughs> Not that our way up here has been peaceful. But let's go downstairs. And let's mess with some frogs. I think. Right? So I can't go through there. Yeah. We still... We're, we're gonna be able to open that thing upstairs. Let's just go through here then. How do I get over there? Did I miss something on this side? Oh. 
There's a big shaft over there. Uh, it could be that. <laughs> the frog's still complaining and making all the noises. So it could be this thing, although I doubt it. It is! Oh, that that's not intuitive. It's on this side, not on the other side. Okay, uh, let's see. I need everybody to have healing. Everybody has healing. Let's kill some frogs, I suppose. Maybe? We got a shaft over here. We have ropes as well. An express way down. A rope would come in handy here. Let's secure the rope and slide down. Let's not do that right now. Let's just kill the frogs as I was saying. Although this might be a tricky battle. The putrid smell coming from this depot stops you dead in your tracks. A pure animal fear grips you, urging you to flee. But we are gonna push forward. Reluctantly, you move closer to the gap between the doors and look at the macabre scene inside. Bodies long dead in various stages of decomposition. That's a double space over there as well. More of those damn frogs crawling in and out of vents. Hundreds of eggs around the room, waiting to hatch. If only one in twenty survives, that's already too many. A strange frog in the back is staring straight at you with its unblinking eyes, and suddenly the fear is back, rapidly turning into sheer terror. You must flee this place. Now. No, I must not. We're, uh... We're gonna step inside. You take a deep breath and squeeze through the opening. A rising scene of panic overwhelms you. The goddamn frog is perfectly still, its tiny mutant mind focused on driving the bigger predator away. The other frogs are getting agitated, ready to defend their lair. Mmm... That, that is what that psyker is doing. It's, uh... Spreading fear... To us. It's basically... I think that's... It's gotta be what it's doing, right? Okay. Let's get Jed. Right there. And then Titus over here. And Faith in the center. Hopefully she doesn't take any hits. Close combat there for Jed. That's zero damage. That is a critical kneecap, knockdown, a bunch of other things. That's actually really bad because I don't know if these guys... Oh, that's... And he's poisoned. Okay. Our health is still... Oh, yeah. Things are not looking good. Things are definitely not looking good. So, can you shoot? You cannot. That is bad news. It's real bad news. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to move you over here. And that's why it's real bad news. Uh, these, this little guy, is that a shield? Huh, two regular shots will do it. I think that is a shield. Okay, apparently not two regular shots. Well, let's finish it. So, snapshot here should be f good enough. Yep, and that's pretty important. Let's switch to melee. Go on in. We have 12 action points. That is enough for fast attacks galore. That is one. They have three body armor. That is a critical for very little, I think it was. And four. Okay, that's pretty good. And uh, you have eight. That is enough for a short burst. Eight action points, I should say. Okay, that's good enough. And then you have aim center mass. You're not going to kill anybody, but you did. 12 damage was necessary. We deal L13. Faith is now possibly going to die. And I'm going to have to reload. Yeah. No, yeah, she's probably gonna die. We'll see. We'll see. Who knows? I don't. So, can I shoot three times? I just never can shoot three times. Let's aim center mass here. And then a regular shot there. That is a kill. Faith, you really need to land these. Let's go with the double strike. The double strike. Nah not good enough. I'm gonna go with a power attack here. Because if she is taking too much poison damage, which she is taking some poison damage, then she dies as soon as her turn ends. That's not how it works. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some regular shots in there. That is a kill. And she is indeed back to full health. And I am correct in thinking that exactly, that is exactly how it works. That basically you heal right after right after each combat. Okay, well, we kill the frogs, and we have ourselves a disruptor in this frog. That's an interesting find. And also a lesson to always pay attention to the loot of enemies even if you think there's not gonna be anything. 
And there's also a frog brain. It's a T-E-M-P, exclamation mark. That's, that's because the quest doesn't exist, I think. It's a temporary item. We got a smoke grenade and a flashbang. Both of them low grade on that person over there. Go through his pockets. Yeah, well, it's a man, so that's, uh, that's the, as, as much as we know as of right now. And then we have another thing to pick. Failed to pick the lock. Come on, game. Give me something. Throw me something here. Throw something my way. I mean, we're going to go down below. So it could be that we're going to find locks to pick downstairs. But for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Colony Ship. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.